in the garage. I don't know, what do we call this thing? We called it the annex. <laughs> well, yeah, the garage, but I mean, we call this thing the, uh, I'm sure other people have called it foreplay before. <laughs> well, you're sure about the four screens. The four screens. It's but, uh, your uh, collection of CRTs that you don't have space for in your yeah, game room. Yeah, <laughs> there's no room in the house for these, so they stay out here and they freeze all winter. Um, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but the best looking one, I'd say, is the Sony, which usually is always the case because it's just the right size. Um, I always find it interesting that the, the demo that they show in games, the character always dies in some really stupid way, which, you know, makes you think, oh, I can do better than that. You know, it's like they're way to entice you to play the game. Right. And this is so large on that big screen, I can't really play on that. I've got to look at a, a smaller one because everything kind of gets a little too blurry. So, you know, there's a certain level of... Almost once you get into the, uh, um, probably PlayStation 2 and GameCube era, where this thing really looks great, but before that, it's kind of hit and miss. Like, it either has to be really pixelated or anything in between actually looks like garbage, but it's just huge. But that, that Sony is exactly the right size. Yeah, I think in, everything. in terms of looking at the different sizes, um, that's probably about the size TV. Not as good as quality as that that I played on as a kid. Right. But the screen size seems to be the most accurate. Yeah. Because we did not have a giant TV. That, I'm guessing, I can't recall, it must be like a 19. That's the same size, essentially, as that RCA up there. The, yeah. the screen sizes are very similar. Yeah. But okay. one's, one's 20 years newer. The RCA, I think, is <laughs> two, 2000. The RCA is 1983, and I think the Sony is 2004. Well, here we go. I'm going to try and play good in this. I, I, I did pretty well in one game um, that I recorded, but there's a lot of area in this to cover. And I thought it was a pretty crummy game when I first started playing it because the controls are a little tough to get used to, and it's a little slow. Uh, number of players, one. Difficulty. I can't remember what this is, but I'm going to put it on Nautis. Controller is in the right, and then I will push jump to start. Oh, I, I could turn that up a little bit. Here, I'll use. Well, that's, that's probably not too bad. That's probably coming on. So you see those little flashy things up there, right? Yeah. Those are the little things that appear, like more bullets. Okay. And then I can go back, not him. I have to be on a ladder to shoot him. But when this frog jumps, oops, I'm not pushing the right button. There's a jump button and a fire button, so you have to use the newer controllers. How come you can just walk over the ladder space and you don't have to jump? Well, right. It's 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 thinking three dimensions. <laughs> it's like there's a hole in the ground, but not everywhere. Those waterfalls drag you all the way down into the water area so so far and then you gotta go get that gold and stuff so far you can jump up and catch ladders see oh. so i'm gonna probably try and explore all the areas quick without getting there's gold to get whoa what the heck is that that killed me yes i, I know it's that. like it's like a what super bat i don't know <laughs> it's got like a skull on it so it's like a, it's like a super bat I gotta stop making that mistake because I don't think you can kill that thing. I don't know if I jumped that far enough there. Yeah. Uh, so this will be, a, you know, it takes a while to get used to because those jumps are pretty. That you gotta get pretty perfect. One. So I'm gonna just drop down here. I don't know if I'll die. No. Ooh, what I just get? I got more uh, gun power. Look, look. What the heck are those things in the background? Just like pyramids. Oh, okay. I probably should have stayed up there. I didn't mean to fall, but I bounced into it. Uh, you can go down. I think I'm right back where we started. Yes, it looks like we're all calm. Which I think is a dead end this way, so. And we'll, we'll cut out a lot of this stuff. Because I'll show the different areas. Because there's, there's a water area. There's lava areas. Pyramids, volcanoes, waterfalls, all together. It's actually not easy to time that sometimes. to get that frog. He's got to be just a little above. Mm. 
if I went down that one before, some of these are are drop offs yeah. from the ladders. They're blind, so you have to learn the layout of the land. Oh. And but that's the only way you can get to some places. Sometimes you'll drop and you'll drop right into a. Uh, I was gonna die there anyway. Yes, you were. I should have jumped forward a little bit. You have a little bit of immunity for a second right there, see? So gotcha. it's worth doing that. But there's gold scattered all over the place. And I think the goal is just to get as much. See, I always check up yeah. there because there could be a ladder you can jump up to. See, the gold is well, and look up here. Mm -hmm. See how there's one you can drop down from? Yeah. Now that one, if you drop down from it. You're going to drop directly into that. Right. But I did learn that if you do push left and right. Oh, you can control you your can descent You can control your descent bit? a little bit, but you really got to know. See how I was able to... You can't jump on those things and kill them, can you? No. No, they will kill you. And you got a little bit, like, you got different levels of jumping. See? Okay. Is it, is and you it... can start steering after you're in the air, which is hard to figure out just what's the right amount because it's very slow. Mm. And then when you're swimming in the water... See, these things are tough because you got to get out right when it gets past you. And wherever you are, they seem to center on you. Mm. So if there's stuff below me, they start trying to center on me and head towards me, especially the frogs, because those really track you. See, here's a dead drop. And, oh, oh boy. Yeah. I didn't know I was going to move to the side because I couldn't remember if it was... You got falling platforms. Oh, wow. Oh, See, and there's, there's lava. lava. Yeah. I don't know what these eagles are or buzzards, maybe. Underground buzzards? Oh, yeah. I, I got to that one. See those things? Yeah. They move so fast. So you can shoot and jump in the air. My biggest problem is playing a long time with this controller. Mm -hmm. My pinky, I rest underneath, and it rests right on one of the the latches for self-centering. And my hand starts hurting after a while. So if, if this had a D-pad, maybe someone makes one, I don't know about. This is going to be blind, so I don't know if I'm going to... Okay, good. And I can't walk over that, so I've got to jump to it. Whoa! Yeah, I know. It looks like you're going to die every time. It's tricky. A lot better on this last man than everything else. There's some really hairy places that if you get trapped, it's hard to get out of. Yeah, it's tricky to figure out when you see things sometimes, like what path you have to take to right. get in there. See, yeah. there's a medallion there I can get. So I'm going to jump, which kind of makes it appear finally. And then it shows up and then I get it. I don't know if I've gone down this far before because I usually go towards the top. But the top's kind of boring. See that? There's a scorpion now. Whoa! You see how fast? Yeah, yeah, they start running fast at you. I keep going down. I've never been down this far before, so I've never oh, seen boy. this texture. All right, let's go first one. And the swimming is incredibly slow. Is that like a piranha and an eel? Yeah, see, he's faster than me, too. I'm going to go way down here because that eel can't get to me. Oh, okay, I'm just going to go past this guy. And go down because we already saw I can drop onto something. Yeah. Now that one it looks like I can make. What was that? I don't know. Well, what good would that ladder be there? I wonder if I'm supposed to grab that balloon to make that. Oh no, Probably. I gotta go back. Yeah. I'm back in the same part. Yeah. You must have to sign it to grab that balloon. I didn't know it was there. Oh boy, it really shows up there how bad the coloring is with the water. Yeah. And I'm going to do a little adjustment on that and try and get that stuff to be blue. I can sit here for a second. Try to adjust the tint, but it's really hard to get the blues in this right. It really starts flickering a lot. And there's a fine line where if I go blue, it drops out so much of the red. Mm -hmm. See how sensitive it is? Mm -hmm. I'll leave it there because I want some blue water at least on there. Mm. 
And you don't know if it's worth jumping in or not. Right. Oh, there's a ladder above you. Yeah. I wonder if I could grab that. Those snakes? You haven't seen those yet. See, they no, stand up. I was going to say there's an eel out of the water. Yes, but they stand up. I, the first time I saw one of them, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to jump over it. And it's random when it does it. It just happened to stand up and kill me when I tried to jump over it. When he passes, I'll go up next time. And you can't shoot him until he stands up. Oh! I almost didn't push the trigger in time. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That looks like a big problem. This bat can touch you, so I'm going to go down a little bit. Yeah, he'll probably come back, though. That's the, the real problem. So you can duck a little bit. so hard on these. That could be the end of the game. Oh no, I still got an extra man. Where does it put me? Yeah. Now it looks like a dead end, huh? Mm. Ooh, 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 don't, don't get me. Alright, I'm going to jump down here and see if it's just a dead end. Oh boy. Oh, that's probably what I needed to get. You see, how do you know? You wouldn't have. You wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you could have done is push that direction just because there's well, a wall on your other side. I, I, I felt like there was a wall, and too late I decided, oh, I should go back the other way because I'm probably going to die because it'll probably be a bottomless pit. Well, not bottomless. It'll be a pit with uh, with um, spikes or stalag mites. They're yes. on the bottom. Coming up from the bottom is mites. All right, let's try one more, and I'll uh, I'll go up this time towards the top. Now. I can't remember. There's a really nasty spot to get caught on. See when you when you drop down here though, I can shoot that guy. Oh. So those little drops are useful. I don't know. Why do you want to go higher? What's up higher? This is the longer area. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. This is a very hard way going this way. I, I've done this before, and there's an area that's really tricky. But I'll keep going up. Get that frog first. But this is really quite oh. expansive. This is the nasty area this way. He, he went fast and he slowed down. See, there's a medallion here. Oh, that helped a lot. That helped a lot. I usually get stuck here. Come on. Go fast, go slow. I'm trying to short jump there so I can get and not jump on him. This is the first time I've ever made it through this without dying a bunch of times. It's a nasty little spot. That bat is horrible if you don't hit him. And he's just always there. <laughs> Look at all these guys. I gotta wait, wait out. Alright. Now I'm lost. But we can go this way and make it head down. Let it drag you down. I'll take it way down. I'm just like, that's like dead end. Uh oh. Can I jump two of these at once? Yeah. Look at as that. long as they're far apart. Sometimes there'll be three of them. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you're right. I'll find the water and let it drag me down. Here it is. So everyone can see. Get yeah. him. Okay, he's going the other way. And it's, it doesn't see, at least I'm not getting hurt either. I'm going through bad guys, but it, it drags you right down to this area. And then we'll go we'll go to the uh, the right little water. See that frog centers on you? Mm -hmm. And some more money. Some gold. See, I can get to this. Oh, I 
didn't get it right. You can get Are to you that. Try, you're trying to get up into that ladder? So I was going to see what, what there is. But you're right, I should just go right through here and wait them out under here. Because this lets me... This lets me jump. And shoot those guys. I, I played it like three days ago, so it's hard to remember everything. <laughs> but it's really... A good game. I don't know when it came out. It must have been the late 80s. Well, it had three different dates on the start screen. Yes. Like... Well, it was made initially. In the early 80s, and I think the late one was 88. I mean, there was a Pitfall 2. Um, but this is Super Pitfall, so I think it's different. That was a good blind drop. Does this look familiar? No. It's so hard to tell what's familiar anymore. Well, get back out where the columns are. Yeah, I don't know if these are the same columns. It might be. This might be where you first drop down. See, there's another drop. That's the uh, yeah. That's where you start above. Because if you drop down that one straight, see, this is you remember this. I mean, at least there's some music in it too. I mean, it's not the best music, but it's not annoying. I don't get it's totally not the worst. yeah. I don't get totally irritated with it. I drop down here. Uh oh. I had to drop. <laughs> I should have pushed one way or the other. Yeah. I'm going to be right back here, but I can run at least. Oh, no. Where am I? I'm above. Well, can't I just drop down here then? No. Well, let's go this way. Is this where I came from? Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, it's so confusing. I'm sure there's a huge map out there that you can watch. So this one I want to go through. But the frog seems to be more likely to bump you than... The, the frog's a nuisance. The, uh, the fish or the eel. Yeah, the like frog are... centers on you. He's a huge nuisance. This is a blind drop. I've had some blind drops where I just dropped in. Whoa. Like, I'm just going to go for it here and see what I land on. Just for fun. But that's well, you it. you doubled up your score. Yeah, I mean, you can get a good score, and, and there's probably a lot more to explore that I'm not seeing. I'll see 83, 87, and 88 here. Right, so this came out in the late 80s. I mean, you know, this is as good a quality as you're going to get for, like, a video game like this. You know, once nintendo came out and stuff like that you know yeah. so they were they were trying and and if there was a kid that had this they probably would have played this quite a bit i mean well, i'm sure if you did play it quite a bit you would get used to the maps you'd be able to start counting okay i go past this many columns or this right. many ladders or you'd, you'd start drawing it out on graph paper or something yeah to know and then well, learning might, like I wouldn't. well i mean i think <laughs> i just be, i just get lost all that's the, time. the kind of thing kids with fun. computers would do you know they they, mm -hmm. they are a little more generally Technical and they'll they'll draw out the maps. I'm not saying they won't do it on things like the NES once you start getting. I mean, if this was out in 87, 88, that's that's when the uh, the NES was really getting big finally, mm -hmm. and you were just about to get into the 16-bit era. So this would have been pretty fun. And like I said, if you had a smaller screen, the graphics don't look too bad. It looks comparable to me, like something. Not quite, well, maybe closer to like a ColecoVision look. Not quite a Master System or, or NES thing. So, and you know, the ColecoVision was an, an 83 system that didn't really make it because of the crash. So, but uh, overall, this is a pretty fun game. I'm glad we got it. I'll probably look up a map after this and see what there is to explore and maybe head in those directions to see new stuff but you can go really far down it looks like mm. and that's what's that's what's interesting about it there's a lot of exploration on this and back in the day when you only had a few games not like now where there's right. 10 million right. someone would have taken this and played it for months and months and got really good at it i'm sure so well there's super pitfall everybody on the uh color computer three and uh i don't know I give it a thumbs up for what it was. We'll see you next time. So long.